right, let's try this again. Uh, hooey. So, hmm. Really needs another land. Turn one Chrome Star into nothing. Seems bad. This hand seems a little more keepable because of the Frogmite. But yeah, now it's suddenly bad. Now it's bad. Yeah, this isn't good. Huh. All right, so that makes me want to put in the uh, <laughs> the uh, Doom Blades. Okay, see, not bad, because now I can actually play Frogmite and Thoughtcast. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. And also, I got a blocker for Gaia's Knight over there. Dying times here. Or Galena's Knight, whatever it's called. Definitely burn that guy though. Got a good two. Let's go ahead and thought cast, see if I draw anything. That prism. Hmm. So I can't play both this turn. I can't play one though. I think that's a little better than drawing a card at this juncture. No attacks. Huh. All right, sure. Six seems fun. Yeah, I'll take three. So let's prophetic. Let's play mirror enforcer. Vault. I just want to cycle this for red. Get rid of that Joker. Just past the turn. Still want flyers, I would have killed them first instead of targeting Bant Shirtblade. This says when it's. This says I sack it because of our spell or ability. Yeah, I don't really care about that. Well, I care in as much as it's my like artifact cost. I mean, it helps with my affinity, but I think at the end of this turn, I'm going to get rid of this Esper Storm Crow. Stormblade, I knew what it said. I was just kidding. of outs. Wow, my opponent really doesn't want to play Magic. He just wants to win. Uh, okay, so that's the anticlimactic end here. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching today. I think Affinity is a very fun, very good deck. Um, I like this Teamer build. Cutting the white seemed like a good choice. I, my mana base, I feel like, was very, very consistent in those games. Uh, the Prism really helped with that. It was the re reason we were able to uh, get rid of that uh, thing with the flying, with the Bant, or Esper Storm, whatever it was called. But yeah, I, I don't know. This is more combo-y. The combo is good. You know, it's really only bad against decks that run a lot of counter spells. Um, but, you know, and they have to play around it basically the whole game. 
right? As soon as you resolve an Atog, they have to immediately start playing around the the idea that you could attack them for a bunch and fling and then fling, like so. It's pretty it's pretty powerful. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the videos, and I'll see you guys next time here on Gorzala's Magic.